Hey, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. We're going to show you the different tools we use to execute the uh, different parts of our real estate business. Today's video is a follow on to the previous couple Podio tutorials. Uh, we're going to keep diving in to show you uh, how you might use Podio within property management, specifically in this video, uh, and demonstrate how some of the workflows can work and how you can uh, manage your business, manage your tenants within the system. So again, we're gonna focus within property management. Specifically today, we're going to look at the process of taking a current tenant, uh, indicating that they plan to move out, uh, and then we'll have a corresponding vacancy created. We will um, have that vacancy created in Podio, and then we will receive some interested renters, uh, application showings, and we'll eventually fill that renter to a unit. So we'll go quickly through it. Um, just to demonstrate how the workflow goes. So let's dive right in. On my screen here, I have a theoretical um, tenant, John Smith. I have his contact info, so I have him in my tenants app. Right now, he's currently an active uh, tenant. I have a status as active. He's tied to a unit 5772 McKinley Lower. What we're going to do, the way I have my system set up, as I scroll down here, I have John's move in date, um, and I would like to know if he's going to renew or not. So, John. Um, a previous workflow, which we, we're not going to cover here, is an email out to John saying, uh, hey, you know, your lease is up in a couple months. Are you interested in renewal uh, or not? If he is, then we would work through re-signing a lease. But in this case, we're going to envision that he said he's not interested. So his, um, his lease, I have this messed up, his lease ends the 31st of March. He just told me that uh, he's going to leave. He's going to move out on the 30th of March. So I have my workflow set up such that when I create this move out date, 3-30-2016, for John, what will happen is a, a vacancy will be created. So uh, once we have a move out date, a vacancy should be created. So I'm going to click on that vacancy. And I have that set up through Globiflow. And uh, within my vacancy app then, I have a new vacancy created with the unit name and the date. That's just uh, some simple coding. Um, the unit is 5772 McKinley. It's currently open. It's a new vacancy that I can work through and manage to close. So right now it's empty. I don't have anything in here. But I could fill in some targets. So I want to fill it, um, let's say, by the 15th. Uh, the lease date, I want to be able to lease out by April 1st. Um, through March 31st, 2017. Craigslist ad, let's assume that I have one. I just have one up here. So you can go and grab your Craigslist ad and paste it in here. Again, this is just so you can kind of manage this vacancy as uh, you're working through the process. I just put it twice there, okay. So there's the vacancy, it's ready to go. So let's get out of there. Uh, let me go over to my vacancies and so you see a bunch of them listed here so now let's assume that I get a phone call on my Craigslist ad and it's somebody interested in the unit so um, I'm gonna have a new rental prospect so um, we have, we have web form set up we can have them fill out a web form but let's just envision that I take a phone call from somebody who says they're interested in the unit I'll take the phone call I'll take some of their basic in, in information their name is Wendell um, Email address is wendell at gmail.com. Phone number, related vacancy. So I take the phone call. I know that they're interested in McKinley, the one we just created. It's new. Um, we would put potentially, uh, they said that they're able to move in right on the first. Okay, that's great. Any notes? Uh, asked about pets. Um, small cat. Okay. So save prospect. So I have that prospect in there. So now we're going to go through. They called and probably within this time they asked about the unit. I asked a little bit about them and they want to set up a time to see the unit. So we would then create a showing. And the showing is obviously an appointment where we show the tenant the unit. Now even if you are not doing this, maybe your property manager is doing this, Whatever the case may be, this will work out so that you can have a record of all the times you show a property. Now it helps you to stay organized in that you can manage a calendar, but you can also eventually pull metrics and say, how many showings does it take before I actually fill 
um, a specific unit to a tenant, you can start to find averages and see if you can improve upon those averages. So um, let's say I'm gonna meet with Wendell. Um, again, the vacancy. Now the reason this doesn't automatically populate is because occasionally you'll have prospects who are interested in many different vacancies, right? So um, maybe they're interested in one, but then you show them another. We do that a lot. We move uh, tenants to different units based on what we have available. I'm gonna show it on the 9th. Um, let's put in the time there. It's called 5 p.m. I'm gonna show it. Um, any notes? Notified uh, current tenant. Okay, so that's ready. So we'll have that showing. Okay, let's say that the showing goes well and Wendell is interested in the unit, wants to fill out an application. So we could do a number of things. One, we can be there with Wendell at the unit with their applications app and we can add an application right through Podio. That's possible. We could also send Wendell a uh, web form, which is typically what we'll do. I think you fill it out this way. So. We want the, the application to be as thorough as possible. So again, they'll put in some redundant info, but this is an application, this is more official, um, that you'll be able to reference in the future. Um, so let's just fill out some of this real quick. Um, I'm gonna, some of these are mandatory, so I'll just fill them out um, just to get through it. Uh, plan number of occupants, I'm going to leave that blank for now, sex, male or female, driver's license number, social security, uh, marital status. You can make this as custom as you want. Uh, this is a very thorough application um, you know, where we take down their employer, their occupation, their supervisor, how long they've been employed. It's pretty thorough. Um, and you can make some of these required. You can make, uh, you can make them not required. So. To, to the future. Okay, so they'll submit the web form. Thanks for the application, we got it. It'll come into me, I'm gonna go take a look at it. <clears throat> now I want to immediately relate this to my prospects so that they're connected. Obviously they put in their name, but they're not gonna be able to pick from them a list of themselves. I don't want them to see um, who my other prospects are. So now I have an application, that's great. Um, I can look at it, I can review it, and I can um, decide on the tenant. So I'm gonna go do that right now. In my prospects, a really good way to do this um, that we do for our tenants, and you could also do it for um, like a CRM, is to use the card view. And I'm just switching around to it right now. <clears throat> um, the card view has statuses across the top, and you can click and drag uh, your items throughout. So Wendell was new, but then we contacted Wendell, and so they're in the contacted status. So now let's say we've gone through and reviewed the application. Um, everything checks out. The income is good enough. Um, the references are good. The credit's good enough, and we want to fill to vacancy. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Wendell and drag the uh, tenant over, and this will trigger a workflow. So basically this will change Wendell from a prospect into a tenant. So you're gonna see a lot happen here. So let me click, drag, fill to vacancy. That is done, so now what happened? Well, it closed my vacancy. So my vacancy was set as open. So the first thing it did was it closed it. Let's go take a look at that. It won't show up in my view because it's not open anymore, but I can find it under all vacancies. So this is the one that was just filled. So you can see that what happened was we set the status to filled, filled with who? Wendell, the new prospect. Um, the fill date fills in the date. Everything looks great. Okay, great. And the other thing is Wendell be, goes from a prospect to being a real tenant. So if we go over to tenants, we should be able to find um, Wendell although Wendell would not be active yet. So I gotta look at that, there we go. There he is, okay. So there's Wendell. The information pre-populates. Um, maybe there's a roommate, we could fill in their secondary contact. The unit is tied to 5772 McKinley. They're inactive, that's because they haven't moved in yet. Uh, their moving date is April 1st. Move out date, we don't have that yet. That will happen once next year, once we get a renewal or not from them. Uh, we can set the lease type. Um, it auto populates a lease start and lease end, a target renewal. We can obviously change those. So um, that's kind of how the workflow goes. That's how we take 
this unit, this McKinley unit that had somebody moving out. So we create the vacancy, we get calls, we have prospects, we have showings, and then we have applications. We review that tenant and we decide on them, and then we eventually fill to a unit. And that's how that all works. So a lot of that will go through um, Globiflow. Uh, you can set up some of those in the advanced Podio workflows as well. So um, that is a basic overview of how we go through the process of um, looking at rental prospects, vetting them, etc., and how the whole workflow works. So uh, please leave comments or questions if you have any uh, specific issues with how things went there. Um, future videos, we're gonna keep diving into Podio here. There's a lot to offer, a lot of different case studies. So we're gonna look at project management, we're gonna look at using it for a CRM, connecting to Google Drive, uh, plenty of different things. But if there's anything specific you would like to see, you know, leave it in the comments or send us an email and we'll we'll do it. We have no agenda other than to, to keep putting out good videos. So um, in the meantime, leave your comments and be sure to check out all the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com. Thank you for watching.